when you talk about cream as such now creams uh, what are creams can you tell me somebody in chat box or somebody can open the mic what are creams in terms of sir, preparation what are they sir it's like an oily uh, semi solid preparation which is a type of emulsion that is oh, meant for oily. topical application oily semi solid preparation oily nahi hota because it is a cream so oh. cream is a emulsion emulsion is not oily emulsion is not oily okay so uh, cream whenever you talk about creams creams are emulsions when we say lotions lotions are emulsions okay when we talk about uh, paste you know paste goes somewhat in type of a suspension which are having a high amount of uh, solids in them okay if you want to have a simile uh, simile between paste and uh, you can have it in with the help of suspension okay but uh, uh, you can say creams are semi solid emulsions right and when you talk about cold cream cold cream are water in oil type of a preparation okay so you have a oily base in which water has been added and you prepare emulsion now uh, basically cold cream are used for uh, 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 dry skin uh, they are used as uh, humectant they are used as emollient they are used for uh, dehydrating the skin whenever the skin has gone dry so it is used for dehydration of the skin uh, skin it is basically applied on the uh, face it is not that it cannot be applied on the other body part wherever the dryness is there it can be applied but mo mostly cold creams are applied on the face and if you see the moisturizing cream which is also used for the same purpose moisturizing cream is also used for drying dry skin okay flaky skin uh, the skin which uh, has lost moisture uh, the skin uh, which requires hydration okay the skin which uh, you know is uh, flaky in nature very dry for that type of skin to be uh, used okay moisturizing cream is also that but moisturizing cream basically uh, also known as hand and body lotion so or hand and body cream so moisturizing cream basically are for the other body parts whereas if you see cold cream they are used for face zaruri nahi hai moisturizing cream bhi face ko laga sakte hai and uh, vice versa can be done uh, now creams uh, when we talk about cold creams uh, the reason come why is a cold cream called as a cold cream it is called as a cream because it is a emulsion that's why it is a cream uh, it is called as a cold cream because these are the uh, preparation when you apply it on the skin you get the feeling of cold okay your skin becomes cold why does that happen so when you apply so you get a cooling sensation with these types of cream so as you get a cooling sensation hence these types of cream are so hence these creams are called as cool cream for the cooling sensation now why do you get that cooling sensation when you are applying these types of cream it is a water and oil type of emulsion so when you apply it on the skin the water which is present inside the cream it gets evaporated okay so as soon as uh, when the water is getting evaporated okay from the cream because it is exposed to uh, what you call that it is exposed to environment as soon as it gets to exposed to environment the water it evaporates as the water evaporates you get the cooling sensation something uh, that you must have seen when you uh, when uh, some alcohol etc that falls on you or any volatile material if it falls on your skin after some time you get the cooling sensation okay it is because it gets evaporated in the similar manner you get a cooling sensation after application of this uh, cold cream and hence they are known as cold creams okay now cold creams are nowadays quite modified you have a normal cold cream okay which you can uh, see over here so this is a uh, this is a cold cream which is a which is a normal cold cream uh, you have which is, which is basically used for moisturizing purpose then uh, you have a, a cold cream which can be used as a cold cream or it is also a cleanser okay so you have a cold cream cleanser. so you have a cleansing agent which can be added to the cold cream uh, you have cold cream which are also used for fairness purpose okay in order to uh, uh, what about that uh, reduce the uh, uh, you know the, uh, darkness of the skin so these these are the uh, fairness cold cream so you have a cold cream where you have fairness also. okay and uh, these are the cold cream which can be used for makeup removal also 
So similar to somewhat of your cleansing action, similar to your cleansing action, you can have a makeup removal action also. So, so you have different different types of cold cleans also nowadays which are available. So along with giving the moisturizing effect, it can give different different effect. Like it can give a cleansing effect. It can give the fairness to the skin. It can uh, help you in uh, removal of makeup. So different different uh, uses can be done with the uh, different different types of cold cream. Whenever we talk about cold creams, you have to remember cold creams are known as borax or beeswax type of emulsifying system. Okay, they are known as borax beeswax type of emulsifying system, which means what? That uh, if you take any emulsion, then emulsion in order to stabilize the emulsion, what you require? What you require in order to stabilize uh, emulsion? Somebody other than Reva, please. So that I will understand that you are participating with me, please. Anybody open your mic and tell me? Emulsifying agent. Perfect. Right. So you require you require an emulsifying agent. The emulsifying agent which is added to the cold cream is prepared in situ when the reaction takes place. And this e re reaction is taking place between borax and beeswax. Hence, these types of system are known as borax beeswax type of emulsifying system. The usual quantity that, uh, that is used for uh, use of borax and beeswax are in the ratio of one is to 20. One, plus one uh, part of borax and 20 parts of beeswax that is being, that is being used. Now, uh, uh, borax, when it gets dissolved in water, it gets converted into boric acid and sodium hydroxide. Uh, borax, uh, uh, you know, it consists of boron, it consists of oxygen, and it consists of uh, your uh, sodium. Okay. It is Na2B4O7. That is a formula for borax. That is Na2B4O7. So, this Na2, that is sodium. Okay. When it reacts, uh, when when it, we are in the procedure, you are going to see that this borax, you are first dissolving it in water. So when it dissolves it in water, it contains uh, comes in contact with uh, OH ions, and it gets uh, it, and it, it forms sodium hydroxide. Okay, this sodium hydroxide, which is obtained from borax, it reacts with a with a serotic acid. Okay, this serotic acid is obtained from beeswax, right? Beeswax is uh, uh, is uh, what about that uh, oily substances? Okay, uh, made up of uh, many fatty acids. Serotic acid is one of the fatty acids that is present in beeswax. Okay, so this serotic acid usually the concentration that is present of serotic acid in beeswax is near about thirteen percent. So this sodium hydroxide, okay, which is obtained from borax, and reacts with this serotic acid okay you can see this reaction so sodium hydroxide is uh, reacting with serotic acid and it forms an anionic emulsifier okay this anionic emulsifier okay is now acting as the emulsifying agent and it is how, how it is prepared in situ and it is acting as an emulsifying agent for the cold cream where in cold cream you see the formula it consists of an oil, which is mineral oil. Now, actually, if you see for uh, your uh, uh, for preventing uh, or uh, uh, for uh, taking care of your dehydration or taking care of the dryness of the skin, आपको याद होगा आपकी मम्मी बचपन में oil लगाती थी. Okay, when you were very small, when you were kids, mummy used to take you on the lap, she used to take oil और वो जोर-जोर से आपकी पूरी body पे बल देती थी. Okay. Abhi aisa karoge, to, uh, you can take care of your dehydration. Okay, take any mineral oil, okay, uh, or take padam ka tail, or take any kind of a tail, and you apply it onto the skin, and uh, your uh, you know dryness is going to go. Uh, that that can be taken care of. So if that is the case, you know, my, my simple question is: if that is the case, if if it is a mineral oil, okay, or any type of oil which is taking care of your uh, uh, dehydration okay which is taking care of your dry skin okay then uh, why should we go for uh, 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 what about that cold cream or for that matter moisturizing cream which are so costly why should we go why should we go for this cosmetic because the purpose is been served can somebody tell me 
apart from those who have answered earlier. Can somebody tell me why should we go for a cosmetic perfusion which is containing mineral oil when we can directly apply mineral oil onto the skin? Anybody, please. If you interact with me, I will not be able to do that. You have to answer. Sir, the amount of uh, mineral oils absorbed from uh, cold creams would be more than that when they are directly applied. No, if you if you apply oils directly, then uh, that will be in a uh, lot more absorbed. Okay, then they are getting absorbed from any of the preparations. In fact, they will be absorbed more. Or if directly oil is applied, you are not uh, adding any chemicals or borax no? or beeswax or whatever it is. You know? For the the even the the uh, preservatives etc. Nothing you add. You have to add directly use oil lag on your skin, which in fact is good. To be very frank with you. Okay. There are there are many people who now also if you if you see your uh, uh, dadis, dadas, and your uh, sometimes your mother also. Okay. Your parents will be seeing them while going to sleep. They must be in cold uh, season where the skin becomes too dry. They, nowadays also they apply oil. They go to sleep and the next uh, morning they you know they get uh, you know they wash it. Somebody is saying uh, Mahesh is saying that uh, in uh, smoothness of skin avoids cracking of skin in winter. Fantastic, right? Barabar hai. Okay, but my question is this smoothness of skin. Okay, can be uh, achieved by mineral oil also. Then why should we go for this preparation? My my question is that because mums are easy and it can like cause staining and it is less appealing. So patient compliance will be better if it is a cosmetic. Perfectly, 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 perfectly right. Okay. Mother also said the things. Mother also said the mother said the thing before. Mother, I'll answer your question. Sanjay, you are perfectly right. Cosmetics are more appealing because cosmetics are not oily in nature and you do not like oily skin. So as you do not like oily skin, hence the uh, we have come up with the cold cream to apply to your skin. It is an emulsion, and mother uh, creams are uh, not greasy. Absolutely right. Whereas if you take uh, oils, they are greasy in nature. Both is also right. Perfectly right. Okay. So uh, the creams they are not greasy in nature. They are more accepted cosmetically. You look nice after application of skin. Whereas if you apply oil to the face and if you go out, then uh, you won't be looking that good. That what you feel. So that is the reason why uh, creams are more preferred as compared to directly application of oil. But the main ingredient that we want to add or apply to the skin are the mineral oil. Okay. So coming back to to my topic, so uh, you are you are adding borax, you are adding beeswax. Borax gives you sodium hydroxide. Beeswax gives you Cerotic acid, sodium hydroxide, and cerotic acid. They form and uh, form an emulsifier, and this emulsifier is stabilizing your system, which consists of mineral oil plus your water that you are adding. Okay, this system is getting uh, stabilized with the help of your uh, emulsifying system that can perform borax and beeswax, and hence it is known as a borax beeswax kind of a system. Cold creams are known as that kind of a system. Uh, along with uh, uh, these uh, uh, system that is borax beeswax or wax kind of a system, you can also add some other non-ionic emulsifiers in order to supplement your borax and beeswax system. Okay, so which gives you gives your uh, emulsion or cold cream a uh, more stability. So those can also be added. Examples of other uh, emulsifiers that can be added are sorbitol fatty acid esters can be added. You can add glycerol, cereal, cetal alcohol, sterile alcohol, phosphate fatty alcohols, fatty alcohol sulfates. These are these are some of the other uh, emulsifiers which can be added. Uh, it is not necessary that you have to add a, a emulsifying system, okay? Because most of the time you will be seeing that uh, only borax beeswax uh, system is quite uh, you know sufficient in order to take care of your uh, preparation stability of your. Uh, this preparation contains uh, both oil as well as water. Both are susceptible to microbial attack, and hence, uh, if you are uh, preparing a cold cream, it is always advisable to go for a 
preservatives. Again, the same preservatives, uh, you know, uh, that methylparaben, propylparaben, uh, benzoic acids, these can be added. If, you're, if you're, your oil is also present, so you can go for addition of ascorbic acid also, okay, in order to prevent the rancidity of your preparation, to prevent the oxidation. You can go for addition of an antioxidant agent uh, or uh, ascorbic acid, uh, which acts as an uh, antioxidant or any other antioxidants can also be added to the preparation. Okay. Now, uh, if you, uh, I have shown you some of the formulas over here. If you, if you see the important ingredients that are present in these formulas are, you have beeswax, okay, which are uh, in the quantity of 14, 4, 18, and 5. Near about 20, if you see over here, they are in the quantity of 20, near about 20. If you see borax, uh, it is in the very less quantity that is 1, 0 0.25, 1, 0 0.25. Again, the, if you see the ratio over here, it is 1 is to 20 only. Okay, or 1 is to 16, the ratio is approximately. Here it is 1 is to 14, here the ratio is 1 is to 18, here the ratio is 1 is to 5. Okay, so this is this is the uh, kind of uh, system that is borax and beeswax kind of a system. If you are not uh, using borax and beeswax, okay, so if you see formula B, this is the system, it does not contain borax and beeswax. Here you can add uh, another, uh, you know, uh, emulsifiers such as uh, lanoline, you can add crystalline monosterate, you can add sodium lauryl sulfate in order to uh, have that uh, emulsification, okay, or as acting as a uh, emulsifiers, okay, emulsifying agents, right. Apart from that, other two uh, important ingredients that are present are mineral oil. If you see the quantity of mineral oil, it is very high. They are about 55, 54, 18, 60, 58. So in the range of 50, you have this mineral oil, which is the most important ingredient because you want to uh, prevent the dryness of the skin. Then you have water in the ratio of uh, near about uh, 50, okay? That is uh, 25, 19, 37, 1, 20. So this is the uh, ratio of water that you, that you are having. So it is near about 20. Uh, why I'm telling you this is because the formula that we have prepared is based on this formula only. Apart from that, as you can see, there are different different ingredients that have been added. You have citral alcohol, you have sterile alcohol, sometimes you have lecithin. Uh, at some places, you have added olive oil also in order to enhance the oil, okay, along with mineral oil. Uh, another oil that is olive oil has also been added. You can add dinoline, crystal monosilate, sodium lauryl sulfate. Uh, Spermacetin wax can be added along with uh, the uh, beeswax, okay, uh, which contains uh, uh, also the fatty acids. Then ulic acids can be added, triethanol I mean, can be added. You have uh, stearic acids, paraffin waxes, glycerin. Also, these also agents can be added. But if you uh, if you see any cold cream preparation, or if uh, evaluator is going to see your cold cream preparation, he is going to see whether you have added beeswax. Whether they have added borax, whether they have added mineral oil, or whether they have whether they have added water or not. Based on these formulas, which are available in the literature, uh, this is the formula that we have. Uh, we are going to use. We are going to take borax as uh, one gram. We are going to take white beeswax bags as twenty grams. We are going to take these bags as uh, mineral oil as uh, fifty milligrams. Methyl paraben as a preservative, we are going to add near about two grams. Water near about 25 grams, you are going to add, and perfume, you are going to add 2 grams. Now, if you if you see the preparation, uh, in the preparation, a lot of heat is being involved. We are going to talk about preparation in the next slide. In the preparation, a lot of amount of heat is being involved. So there are chances that uh, water may get evaporated uh, during the heating process. Okay, as water may get evaporated during the heating process, so you can add near about 3 to 5 percent excess water. Okay, uh, to, to this water in order to take care of uh, the evaporating water that can be added by this, right? Now the next question that I am going to ask you is: uh, We are going to we have studied about the formula. We have talked how we came to this formula, how we derived to this formula. Okay, we have also talked about you know what are cold creams, what is the use of cold creams, why are cold creams called as cold creams, uh, what are creams as such that we have discussed. Let us move to the next aspect of uh, creams as such, or semi-solid preparation as such, or cosmetics as such. How are we going to prepare your creams? 
can you can, can anybody tell me open the mic and tell me uh, the uh, method of preparation of cream i don't want the people who have answered up till now to answer me okay the others they can answer if you know how how do you prepare a cream i want the general method of preparation of cream yes <laughs> So you would probably yes, combine the oily ingredients and the uh, watery ingredients separately, as in the borax and water on one side and the oils and waxes on the other, and Perfect. then combine them. Perfect. You are missing just one more important sentence. It can add that. So uh, you mean to say I have to take borax, I have to mix it with water, I have to take beeswax, okay, and mineral oil that I have to mix, and the both I have to combine. Here, one very important step you are missing. If you can just add that step, yeah. Um, so, with the water soluble and the oil soluble part is twenty five or seventy four degrees Celsius, and then we uh, mix them. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, if you combine the answers of Purva and Neha, then you get the final answer. Okay. So, what whenever you prepare a cream, whenever you are going to prepare a cream. There is one basic procedure that you have to remember. So, चाहे वो फिर कोई भी क्रीम हो, जब भी क्रीम ये वर्ड आएगा, आपको वही स्टेप फॉलो करना है. Whether it is a sunscreen, whether it is a cold cream, whether it is a what you call that, any other vanishing cream. Okay, जहाँ पे भी क्रीम ये वर्ड आ गया, okay, for those kind of cream there is one procedure which you have to follow. You have to take all the uh, water soluble ingredients. These all water soluble ingredients you have to uh, dissolve in water. You have to take oil soluble ingredients. You have to mix all the oil soluble ingredients together. Okay. These water soluble ingredients you have to heat up to seventy five degrees Celsius. You have to take oil soluble ingredients and that you have to heat up to seventy five degrees Celsius. And at that constant seventy five degrees Celsius temperature. You have to mix both of them. Okay, so either you are going to I add oil to oily face to water face and keep on triturating, or you are going to add uh, what you call know, the oily face to water face and then you are going to keep on triturating. And when the temperature comes down to near about forty degrees Celsius, okay, or thirty-five degrees Celsius, then you are going to add your uh, volatile ingredients. Okay, if there are any volatile ingredients that are present. Usually, if you see perfumes, they are volatile ingredients. So all these volatile ingredients you are going to add at the 35 degrees Celsius, okay, or 35 or 40 degrees Celsius, so that they do not get evaporated out, okay, and they remain in the solution for a longer period of time, okay. So that is how you are going to go with the preparation, uh, okay. So that is how you are, you are going to go with the preparation. You are going to first accurately weigh the required quantity of borax and methyl paraben. And you are going to dissolve it in water, okay? And then, uh, because borax and methyl paraben both are water soluble, so you are going to mix them with water and heat it up to seventy-five degrees Celsius. This usually is known as the aqueous phase. So you prepare aqueous phase and you heat it up to seventy-five degrees Celsius. Then you are going to take beeswax. You are going to take mineral oil uh, in a separate container and you are going to heat it up to seventy-five degrees Celsius. This is known as the oily phase. So you have an aqueous phase. Which is heated up to seventy-five degrees Celsius. You have oily phase, which is heated up to seventy-five degrees Celsius. Uh, if you see, this is the structure of your boron. Okay, and when you add your borax to the aqueous phase, uh, the sodium hydroxide, the sodium ions, okay, they react with the OH ions that are present uh, in water and they form sodium hydroxide. Okay, uh, so uh, so you uh, prepare the oily phase. You heat it up to seventy-five degrees Celsius. Then you mix both of them. Okay, at seventy-five degrees Celsius, you stir them and you form a water in oil type of an emulsion. Uh, when the temperature drops down to thirty-five degrees Celsius, you are going to add rose oil to it. Okay, and once and finally, then you are going to evaluate it for your weight variation. You are going to evaluate it for physical appearance, pH, viscosity, solubility, and extra 